Mocha family, I am back because I wanted to address the question that I've gotten a couple of times about why I'm not doing keto. Uh, I'm not an expert on keto, but from what I understand, I think it's um, the same kind of rhetoric that came out years ago with the Atkins diet. Um, the idea that right now, because of our high carbohydrate uh, diet, our bodies tend to use sugar to fuel for fuel. But if you consume the right amounts of healthy fats um, and a high protein diet, not I don't know if it's high, but a balanced protein diet, because I, I think I have heard somewhere that you can have too much protein. I think there's a there's a, a portion of protein that's optimal. But from what I understand, if you eliminate carbohydrates to a high degree, and I think there's like a small uh, amount of carbohydrates that you can consume during the day for, for, for one day, you can turn your body into a more efficient fat burning machine. And from what I understand, the that's a more efficient fueling option. And you know, there are a lot of arguments about how it's healthier to live this way. And I think a lot of people are drawn to keto because, you know, I think what happens with your, your body is that it turns the excess carbohydrates into fat. And if you're trying to lose weight, you know, I, I think what people have found is that on a keto diet, they can have a leaner body. And so there's a lot of buzz on YouTube about keto. And I listen to Eric Berg on YouTube and I've gotten a lot of good support for intermittent fasting by listening to his channel. And he's really big on keto. And so I've gotten a question since I'm doing intermittent fasting, since it tends to go hand in hand with a lot of people, why aren't I also doing keto? And so from what little I know, I don't think it's a sustainable diet for me, <laughs> you know, just based on the kind of things that I, I like to eat, the way I feed my family and how much on the go I am. I think for me, it would take a fair bit of planning for me to be able to implement that much of a low carbohydrate diet. I love, I love my sugar, you guys. I'm trying to be balanced with sugar, you know, as a as a believer, you know, I'm trying to follow the scripture that says if you see a little honey, have a little. It didn't say have none, you know. So, you know, I love my latte. <laughs> you know, I try not to make it a daily habit or I'm trying to get myself not to make it a daily habit because it has a lot of sugar in it. And I'm not fully convinced that I need to take those steps to be the optimal me. Um, I want to approach more of a moderate lifestyle in that respect. And so that's why I haven't pursued keto. Like I know that I'm going to make cake for my family, you know, my favorite cake every year. And I want to be able to enjoy it, you know, once a year, a couple of times a year. I have this thing where I always think about when I'm on my deathbed, <laughs> you know, and I'm looking over the choices that I have made. What things am I going to be proud that I was able to uphold? And what things am I going to regret? And I just can't help but think that I'm the kind of person that would be laying on my deathbed thinking you should have had that chocolate cake. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know that people can do keto and still create cheat situations for themselves, but from what I understand, it takes so it takes consistency to shift the body into that way of burning for fuel that it doesn't seem like it would make sense to me to go back and forth. Um, and then there's keto flu that you can get, you know, that your body has to adapt so that you don't have that anymore. It just seems to me like if I made that choice, 
it would have to be my lifestyle and I would just have to change what I consider to be a treat. And where I am in my life right now with little kids running around, you know, super busy, God introducing things into my life and opportunities that don't involve the kids at all, but it's like having a job and I'm outside of the home more than I've ever been before. I just know that it's not something I'm going to be able to maintain. And I feel like the results that I've had, you know, having a low carb diet have been good enough for me. Like I like the way I feel when I'm consistent with that. So I'm satisfied with that. So, you know, I, I don't think keto is for me. I, I, I'm not saying that the, the theory behind it is wrong, but I'm just making the choice because I don't like to set myself up to commit to things that I know I can't succeed at. So I don't know if that's the wisdom of being in your 40s, but that's where I am. So let me know what you think about that um, in the comments down below. Are any of you doing keto? Um, let me know how you make it work. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm making it harder than what it is. But from what I can tell, I don't think so. Let me know in the comments down below.